Cool. Have you been playing anything else? Uh, only two things I've been playing. Mario Maker 2. Uh-huh. And uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Let's talk about Rise of the Tomb Raider a little bit. Holy shit. Like... So, with Tomb Raider, like, this rebooted version of it, uh-huh. like, I didn't, like, I knew I was going to like it. I didn't think I was going to fucking love it. Right. Like, I loved the first one. Mm-hmm. First one's amazing. And I'm playing this one, and uh, I absolutely love it. Yeah, it's really like, good. Like, it's so good. Like, I got to the, like, I'm kind of, like, figured out, like, the mechanics, kind of familiar to the first one, and, yeah. like, con- I can't say the controls, the keyboard is, I guess yeah. you can put whatever you want. Right, right. right. But, like... Um, it feels good though like it just feels uh, good it's very responsive yeah yeah I guess um, but with yeah playing on a PC like I didn't think I'd love it you, as much you're playing it mouse and keyboard huh yeah really not a controller Ugh, it seems like a controller game you yeah know? I know right that's that's what kind of trips me out because like <laughs> even when I bought it I'm like oh, should I try to hook up my you know PlayStation controller apparently it's super easy now um the last time I tried it was like three year, years yeah. ago, and it was, it was kind of a little of a hassle. But, um, but anyways, that aside, like I'm, I'm like, all right, fuck it, let's do it. And I got the keyboard, and I'm like, Pfft. like I'm, it's, it reminded me, like I, it was, I was surprisingly easy to go back to playing in a keyboard because I right. used to play that way when I played like the very first like Battlefields and yeah, Call of yeah, Duties. Yeah. Uh, I played it on a PC, okay, or Counter Strike, I should say, and. Um, but yeah, like this. I had Counter Strike on the original Xbox. <laughs> that shit was. I never played it on PC, and I don't want to because it was fucking hardcore on the original Xbox. I could no. only I could only imagine how much more hardcore it was on PC. I mean, I don't not to my own home, but I, I thought it was pretty good on PC. Me and my friends, we would always go to like the cafes, the cyber <laughs> cafes, and gaming cafes, and play. Yeah, um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, but that that aside, like yeah, the the story is amazing. Uh, the history of like what you're going through, like when you find treasures and you find, uh, like the search aspect of it, yeah. like finding the money and, that, yeah. and like yeah. And then apparently I played the deal. I finished the DLC yesterday, and I didn't. Uh, even yeah, know. there's there's a couple of those. You did one of them. Yeah. I did one of them. I did the um, same thing the because Yaga. it felt like. That's the way I should be going. You know what I it mean? It felt that way. Yeah. yeah. So even even the commentary it said, "Oh, I should come back when I get the antidote." Yeah. And then I got the antidote, so I went back. They did a they did a real so that game because I didn't play it till after everything was out. I got the definitive edition for like five bucks or ten bucks on PlayStation Plus, and they did such a good job of integrating that DLC into the game oh, to where it doesn't yeah. feel like. I had no idea. Now you're going off the rails. Like it felt like part of the. You know it felt what I mean? natural. Yeah, yeah it felt, felt really good. Organic. Yeah. To to the, the game, the full game itself. And as as predictable as it was, I really like the twist in Rise of the Tomb Raider. I really like it. <laughs> it's super predictable, but I really like it. Uh, it was it was good. It was good. Um, but yeah, overall, like I'm having fun with the game. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I love playing it on a keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Um, I also uh, have. I'm also playing it on uh, on very high, yeah. so like it's nice to take full advantage uh, of my graphics your, card. Yeah, you and your fucking brand new graphics sure. card. <laughs> Robert is so jealous. <laughs> um, it's nice. It's it's really okay. nice. And then I also realized like I wasn't using my RAM to its full potential. Right. So I unlocked it yesterday too, because um, it says it's supposed to like run at uh, like three thousand hertz. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm like, all right, I figured out how to do unlock it. It's like fucking XM- hacker over here. <laughs> it, it, it's not hack. I know. I know. <laughs> it's like XMP is what they call it. Yeah. It's like extreme. So it, it is overclocking, but it's a stable overclock. Right. Um, but yeah, like it's just I don't know. I love that game. It's like so I'm good, having man. so much fun with it. Like the story, um, hunting animals and like hunting things down is so cool. Fucking squirrels and bunnies are driving me nuts trying to so kill it's a, those. It's a full fucking year later, but now you understand why I was gushing about it so hard last year. Yeah, I, I totally played. understand. Yeah. And like, if you love Uncharted, this is like a great follow up to. Uh, if you if you need that kind of game in your life right now, yeah. and you haven't played the Tomb Raider games 2013, 2015, and then they had one last year too, but I didn't play that one yet. The Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. I haven't played that yet. Yeah, uh, that will be my next one. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to go on sale. It's on sale for twenty three. Well, I don't have. I don't play on PC asshole. Oh, yeah. 
but yeah, so that's what I'm waiting for, um, and then I'll get it. But yeah, man, it's it's so good. It's huh? good. Yeah, it's the storyline's good. I love the voice actors for this. Me too. She is amazing. Yes. Even the even the other uh, voice actors in this, uh, her, they're her, great. Her buddy, the big dude. What's his name? Fuck, I can't remember his name right now. The one that you start the game with. You end the game with him. Yeah, I can't remember yeah. his name either. Oh, shit, but he's awesome. But God yeah. damn it. But you're, you spend so much time away from him in this game, in the second game. That, yeah. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot his name. But yeah, it's really good, man. It's fun. I highly recommend it. It is on, still on sale right now on Steam if you want to play it. Cool. If you haven't already. Yeah, everybody look into that, man. Because that's um, a really good game and it's a shame if you haven't played it. Yeah. And then, like I said, the other thing I'm playing is Mario Maker 2. Yeah. Which is something. Uh, yeah. Um, I wasn't planning. We talked about it with James. Like, yeah. And I said, like, eh, I don't care. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not interested. Uh, but Bryce and Rick. So I was browbeating them into getting Cameco, a game that's $2. <laughs> and yeah. they didn't do it because they're assholes. Uh, and they kept giving me shit about Mario Maker. And all week last week... <laughs> Oh, I remind me, I gotta kick you in the dick later. Uh, but yeah, so uh, then I watched the Giant Bomb stream on Wednesday, where it was like three and a half hours of them playing Mario Maker, and I was like, fuck, right. fuck, 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 fuck. So yesterday I bought Mario Maker, and I'm an idiot, and instead of just buying the game, I got that two game voucher for a hundred bucks instead of so you yeah. if you buy two full price games, you're saving twenty dollars essentially if you use these vouchers. And I was looking at it, and Astral Chain comes out next month. In September, Borderlands is coming out, and Damon X Machina is coming out. And somewhere in that time, Grid Autosports coming out on Switch. And I think there's a Grid game coming at the end of the summer or in the fall for PS4 and Xbox One. So, like, I don't know which one of those I'm going to get, whether it's going to be the Switch version of the port or the new game. But there's, like, five or six games that I want. And Astral Chain is, like, the next big one on my radar. And I was like, well, I'll just spend the extra $40 now. So I know that when Astral Chain comes out next month, I got it. I can get it. I got it already. And then I can wait for Borderlands in September or Damon X Machina in September or, you know, I'll, I'll kind of trying to space out my video game purchasing and, you know, balance my video game spending budget. <laughs> and I figured the best yeah. way to do that was to get that voucher for two games for $100. So I did that and I got Mario Maker. I haven't created anything yet. I played a couple just of played the, You've just been playing the uh, main well, game? Well, I, I followed Jeff Gerstmann. I followed Dan Riker. And I followed Patrick Klepek. So, like all the Giant Bomb guys and like the, the level creators that they follow, I am following them now as well. So when they put out new levels, I'll play them. But I decided to go back and, and I want to try the story mode because I know that's a big thing for the game. It adds like 100 yeah. new levels. And it actually it's supposed to teach. Like the whole point of it is like, a good first-person shooter, the campaign, is to get you ready for the online. Yeah. Uh, for Mario Maker, a good story mode will give you ideas on how to build levels. for, And this game... It does. Holy oh shit, man, God, does it, it do does. that. Like, I've, I'm uh, 30 levels in, and I've done a bunch of the side missions also. For the Eraser, I did the side missions for the Two Toads so I could continue building. Mm. I did I the that. side mission for the dog. Um, the dog was the one where you can't jump, right? Uh, no. The dog one is... I couldn't pass the dog one. That's... I think that's the one where you're in the bucket, in the clown car. And you have to get through it. And I totally forgot you can charge a shot with the clown car to blow bricks up. And so I was like, fuck this, oh, I'm out of here. that's right. I forgot. That's why I couldn't beat it. So I forgot about that. And then later on, in the regular story mode, it was like, remember, when you're in the clown car, you can charge the shot. And I was like, fuck. Now I gotta go back and beat that <laughs> other one. I'm gonna um, have to beat it. And then, like, I, so here's the thing I want to turn off. I want to, if I die twice on a level, Luigi pops up. Hey, big brother, you need some help? I'm like, fuck no. off, Luigi. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't need your fucking help. That's, I yell at my Switch at 3 in the morning like an asshole. That's what I was doing last night. Uh, but, yeah, man, I'm really digging the story mode. Uh, getting used to the mechanics they've implemented for the Super Mario 3D World stuff is weird. I don't like those levels. They don't feel good. Uh, the new Super Mario Brothers levels don't fucking feel good. I never liked the mechanics for those games. They just don't feel good. Uh, but like Mario, 3D World and... 3D World and new Super Mario Brothers. New Super Mario yeah. Brothers. Uh, I just, I don't like the those way Those were that, the ones on the Wii U? Yes. Yeah. I don't like the, 
when you run with Mario in those two, it's like, uh, 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 it's like, yeah. it take, I don't like that. And when you stop, he slides. Like, I don't fucking like that. I like the precision gaming of Mario 1, 2, and 3, where as soon as you hit run, you're fucking running. And when you stop, you stop. Uh, so the mechanics for those games don't feel good, but some of the levels that they built with are those pretty tile bad. sets are fucking awesome, man. And I think I'm the only one in the world that doesn't like Cat Mario. I just don't fucking like Cat Mario. Get out of here. Really? Yeah, I don't like it. I like Cat Mario. Um, partly because I never played 3D World, and like I don't, I didn't, I didn't. know for like the mechanic with him is you can fucking climb the walls. It's yeah. Like, oh, this level would have been a lot easier if I wasn't <laughs> trying to wall up. kick my whole way up. If I would have just went and climbed up. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, man, I'm really fucking digging this game, and it's more than I thought I ever would. Yeah, I have to say, building, um, I know you haven't, but like, for me, building, I love building in classics. Classic modes only, for me. Um, yeah. Either like, super, the first super mo- first one, or the uh, third one, I think. Three, maybe? yeah, one, three, and world. Yeah, uh, I like one and three, mostly. So yeah. I've been, the worlds I've been building for Bryce, I've just either one or three. Yeah. I, uh, I, I played your course that you made, made for Bryce, and... Yeah. The fucking pyramid of Goombas is frustrating. <laughs> like you look at it and it's like, what oh, did a fucking two year old make this level, Rick? And then you try doing it and you're like, oh fuck, this is frustrating. <laughs> and then I don't know if it happened to you, but if you if you end up killing all the Goombas, you, you can't, can't get, get up. Through. Yeah, yeah. You Unless you're through. small and you can like run in through the. But even still, it's that a takes the right super, timing. Yeah, precision jumping timing. Yeah, uh, I played your other level too. That was like I guess probably the first. Oh, you were able to find it. Yeah. Okay, well, cool. well, once you sent me the code for that one, I w- clicked your me and mm, liked okay. your shit. So now I know. Cool. Okay.